Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. It is beautiful weather today. It has dried up a bunch and I want to move out the chickens into the chicken tractors on a field. We've had um, the ban for the birds. Uh, they couldn't be outside because of the bird flu. That has been lifted. Very excited about that. Let's get them out and while I show you the footage of me doing that, I'm going to share some information about the chicken tractors, why we have them, what they are good for and so on. Hope you enjoy this. So the chicken tractors that I'm getting right now that are um, mobile field pens basically where I raise my chickens until they are ready to lay or until they get slaughtered. And the idea here is to both give a healthy environment for the chickens. Um, you know in the stable they don't see the sunlight, they don't have fresh air, they um, are in their own dust and their own manure all the time and um, in the growing season we want them to get that fresh air, we want them to get that sunshine and um, they will also have access to grass and access to fresh insects. Now there's a big difference between the um, free range kind of way to raise chickens and these chicken tractors because in free ranging you have one building and the chickens basically range out of that building on the same type on the same spot all the time and it gets muddy and dirty and full of manure fairly quickly and um, this is a different kind of management that we use with these chicken tractors they are salad and style chicken tractors and um, basically the idea here is to have a um, controlled pasture management where the chickens are on one spot these chicken tractors for example are three meters by three and a half meters and you have the chickens on one spot for one day later when they're bigger they get moved twice a day and that way um, they eat grass very aggressively and the insects and the manure load gets dumped on this one area and then you move them away from the manure onto fresh grass and fresh insects the next morning. And um, this works really, really great because you always move the chickens away from the manure, what they could get sick from. And they always receive this fresh new grass. And then when you do this in the mornings, it is um, wet, the grass is wet, and that's when the chickens eat even more of the grass. Now you can optimize this by um, feeding the right amount of grit to the chickens and like that they can eat even more grass and these chicken tractors are optimized for 75 chickens um, we haven't put that many in there yet because uh, we haven't had the right size batches for that and um, we have also had pasture that wasn't able to metabolize um, that amount of manure load. Now, um, if you do more than 75, it'll leak out. The nitrogen will leak out because the manure load will be too big. But um, if you have really good pasture, 75 birds works great. Now, you can't think of, okay, three by three and a half meters and 75 chickens, that's a lot. It's still less than the industry has. And you also have to consider that these things get moved daily. So these chickens will cover so much ground um, in their lifetime, much, much more than any um, chicken that is raised in a slaughterhouse. So we strictly modeled these um, chicken tractors that you see here after the, the Salatons, after Polyface Farm, because I, I did some research and, and um, you know, there have been people who have been working there for a year and have been testing them and they say, well, yeah, they truly are the best, so I just trusted them. I know some of you guys have shared that you like other chicken tractors better. These have worked great for us. We also use old recycled um, aluminum roofing that we got from a house, a barn actually, where we changed it and we got it for free. And then I used some 
pressure treated lumber but I also used some cedar lumber that we milled that should withstand the elements of nature fairly well and um, these are quite heavy so you, you have to um, you know you have to be strong to, to move them but um, it's not too heavy and they won't blow away the um, roof won't blow open and that's always a concern because here on the peninsula where we live there's a lot of um, a lot of wind a lot of wind gusts and it has worked great um, we didn't have any problems with this and we have tested different kinds of netting last year but uh, overall we are very happy with this we just use the tractor to drive them into position where we're gonna have them and then we move them um, every morning by hand so I just love going out and being able to move so many chickens um, by hand without any machinery. Uh, another thing that might be interesting for you guys is that uh, it takes about one to two minutes to move one of these pens and if you really want to optimize the whole thing then it is really one minute that you want to achieve. Um, but you know if, if you don't have the right equipment like me I don't have a homemade dolly yet to move these then it's not as easy to move but um, yeah you can become very efficient at this and then if you think about that you move 75 chickens in one minute in 10 minutes that's 70 750 chickens that's a lot of chickens that you can move so it goes fairly well I'm really excited to get the chickens out on pasture and um, you know one big reason is for the chickens themselves and the other reason is that we are going to get the manure on the field where we're going to make hay. So that is very exciting because these fields haven't been really taken care of for quite a few years. But with this um, manure on here, I'm just expecting such a great difference and such a much better hay harvest this year. You see this behind me here? To the left of me is where we had the chicken tractor last year. And to the right is where there was no chicken tractor. And you see here, it is completely dead grass. There's nothing green here yet. And here on the left, where the chickens and turkeys were, it's green already. And that's, that's quite fascinating to me. We're gonna make hay on this field here this year. And um, I wanna now let the chicken tractors run over this side of this field that we weren't able to cover last fall. Now this is the chicken tractor that I took the turkeys out of last fall <coughs> and that's just stood here. Um, now I'm going to move it next to the other one and I'm also going to get the third one and then um, I will fill them with the chickens and they will be moved daily. Normally you would move these with a dolly but I haven't built one yet, I haven't been able to, I don't have a workshop where I can weld and stuff. So I just built this thing and kind of only pulled them over the grass with it. Because it's a longer distance, I'm gonna use this, uh, use the tractor now to just pull it over there.
this just broke here but that's a good thing with wood you can just fix it real quick put a little scrap piece on there screw it on there and um, you're good to go um, this just broke because there's a branch there so it was a weak spot and I touched it wrong with the tractor so no worries easy fix so I just realized that I put it the wrong way <laughs> it's built so that the the side facing west where all the wind and rain comes from normally is closed and now I have the open facing side that's facing east so it gets the morning sun in it it's facing west so I have to turn the thing around <laughs> here you go that's better okay I will get my third chicken tractor put it on that side and then we'll drive over this field before it starts growing too much and then uh, we should be able to get a good hay harvest here. <laughs> 